Alright guys, welcome back. So I hope everyone had a good Christmas and New Year. I'm just back from a ski trip. I have a video up of that already, so if you want to check it out, it'll be in the description of my channel. I am going to today go through all the equipment I took with me to make the video and what I thought would be best for out there. So I couldn't dig too much, I was only there for a few days. So I was mostly one skating, not filming too much. So hopefully you enjoy this and we'll get into it now. Alright guys, so here's a quick run for all the travel camera equipment I took with me. As I say, it stored everything in these two bags. So I'm going to start with this here. So, so there's not too much in here. I really just start. All I really have in here is a GoPro, which is just turned off, which is alright. So this is all my GoPro equipment in here. As you see, I use the Hero 4. It does the job. Good time lapse and good um, 4K video and then. 720 video of 120 frames. Uh, everything else in here really is just the uh, different attachments, batteries, and then straps for your head and wrist. And obviously, the way things put them in. Uh, this is a good attachment I use a lot for attaching the tripod. Uh, even though I have this tripod here, which is for just for the GoPro, because uh, it has the certain stuff like that. But I like using a better type of because that one's quite flimsy. I don't always use it. Then also in here I have just the other things for the GoPro. So if you're at a table or something, that's quite handy because you set down a table. It's just how it comes in the box. Just took out of the box. And then a rotation device, but I obviously didn't need that for a ski trip. So that's the main things for it are there. So obviously the GoPro. A tripod, an attachment for a proper tripod if you, because that one's quite flimsy so you wouldn't use that going down any slope strands, just to break easily. Then the strap for your helmet, your head, and then that's a wrist strap there. So that's everything for the GoPro I needed, um, obviously, as well as the main back, two batteries, spare batteries are important. So that's everything for video and all the skiing and some time lapses were done. The GoPro as well, really good for time lapses with the wide angle lens. So next, if you go into here, next in this bike here, this was I took all the DSLRs and stuff in here. So in the top compartment it just has SD cards and then chargers I'd have in there. Obviously they all put out again. So the main part would be obviously in here. So. Start with uh, the two main cameras I brought. So the main camera I used was the Panasonic LX100. LX100. Um, really good for 4K video. Uh, as you see, uh, quite an old camera, but 4K video with uh, has an inbuilt time lapse mode, which I really like. So that's what I use for most of the time lapses. Use it in the GoPro, and then all the. Cinematics, any cinematic stuff, you're usually done on that. Then, I also brought the Canon ASOS 1300D, so obviously there's no lens attached now, but I've been there for four days, so I wanted to ski as much as I could, so I only use that at night really if I took any picture, and that will be in the video. Two lenses I brought with that was the Tamron uh, 70-300 lens, and the 18-55mm kit lens. So those were the main things there, camera wise, is all that there, the GoPro, Panasonic and the two lenses for Canon. Uh, that's like the key of what I would need to bring, then the rest is kind of just to use them, the attachment. So start with, for the GoPro, I had the, uh, this is the monopod I guess. so you just attach your GoPro to the end of it. And you can go down the slope angle, whichever way you want. If you want facing yourself, I can like have in the video. Or if you want facing down the slope, or I'm trying to film someone, you can film it down low like that. So, that was used for the GoPro. Yeah. Then, just tripods. So, I always bring a few tripods with me in case one breaks. So, that one is the main one I'd use. Then, this one here is a spare one, quite flimsy. Just can't really do too much with it. So um, if I was sitting at a table then the final thing I'd bring for tripod is this here. So it's um, really easy to use. You just throw it down on a table, put all the legs up, put on the table angle where you want to attach your um, camera to it for time lapse. So that is all the equipment that I took with me. The key things for me obviously would be the 
GoPro and Panasonic and um, they were mainly used for um, the video this was just for taking pictures of the night really and in the airport and then obviously a tripod a small tripod I think Kay always use it and the GoPro tripod for when filming it's really good for going down the slopes with the attachment for the GoPro to show up here one of the bigger tripods so that's all the equipment I took with me hopefully that helps anyone who is looking um, I'm probably going to do a video on more specifically the key things and why I think they're key and why you definitely should take them and look at invest in them so hopefully you enjoy Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you want to check out the skiing video, it'll be, the link will be down in the top of the description. Make sure to check it out and I'll see you next time.